Hey everyone! How's everybody doing today? Today, today. Um, hope you're all doing well. Uh, I'm super happy to be here with you guys and really loving um, getting back into the lives. I'm really enjoying kind of letting um, my intuition speak um, into what I want to share with you and what I want to connect with you guys with. So um, yeah, I've really been thinking the past couple days about community because again, it's a very interesting time when we are not allowed to go out and be in our community. How interesting it is that there are still so many ways to connect. So I just thought too, it's so funny, I hear a lot of people um, reaching out to me and sort of asking about what kind of communities I find that I'm connecting with. And I know I definitely <laughs> have been having a draw. I'm a very, um, I am a very extroverted person. I really do and always have enjoyed connection with other people. And so absolutely during this time while I'm at home, I've, I've <laughs> been definitely looking for connections with groups and like I've probably overdone it. <laughs> to be honest with you, but I don't regret it. Um, and I'm learning so much. And so it's actually really interesting because I mean, as things always synchronistically really do work out, I'm really just, you know, noticing a lot of things. So my thought here is that technically, hey Maria, so nice to see you. Thanks for joining me. Um, my thought here is that typically a general um, desire when we are looking for um, a connection with community is that we are just looking for that, the sense of connection. Now, the thing that's so, so beautiful and, and, and having had the opportunity of being um, online and connected with several different groups right now, this is the beautiful thing that I'm really realizing because um, the communities that I have been connected with are selected safe spaces like sacred safe space where where we all agree before we go into this space that we honor one another a place of no judgment and so in these um very intentional and selected chosen communities there's a lot of people who um you know where it's a space like i mean I, I will, because this is off of my Facebook feed, I'm sharing, you know, some sense of vulnerability, but there's in these other online communities that I've sought out where we're getting very, very vulnerable, like things where it would be scary to share sometimes. And, you know, sometimes we even attach that, like, I can't believe I'm sharing this, but the feedback that we're getting and connections and relationships that are being made at this time from home when we actually aren't even able to go out in our community. It's really fascinating. So here it is, is perhaps when we go and are led by the mind, we're thinking that we're looking for this sense of community. But, and as this is a massive belief of mine, is that in this time, because we've all slowed down so much, because we have intentionally cut out some things that we knew were not serving us, that at this time, our intuition or we're being innately guided to look for so much more. So right now, when we connect with communities, I wrote notes, <laughs> so I'm going to peek down at them. Um, when we're connecting with other communities, we're also looking for this general sense of impact of a level of vibration. And when I say what we're looking for is this um, impact and vibration is like a feeling tone, an overall feeling tone. So um, this whole idea, and it's funny, and again, also not, of course, not interestingly enough that the groups that I'm connecting with, but also the books that I'm reading um, have been suggesting the same thing. Um, the 10th Insight is, is the one that I'm reading right now, and it's been talking about um, the soul groups that we find ourselves connected with. And I just see this in so many spaces in my life. Um, let me know if you guys are too. But when we connect with these intentional groups, when people are sharing those insights and when people are sharing feedback and um, revelations and all of these things is what we're doing is, is as we share and as these people share, 
we're raising the feeling tone, the vibration of this group. As one person does this, everyone else gets lifted. So yes, we're looking for a sense of connection, but even more specifically, we're all getting this shift in elevation, which is just a magical, magical thing. Hey, Veronica. Hey, Brian. So glad to see you guys here. So um, as we are looking for those connections and as we're trying to connect with community, as we connect with mentors, teachers, trusted community members, we're all lifting one another up with our thoughts, with our learning, with our insights, with our sharing, with our revelations, and, and hence why safe space, sacred space, trusted community is so, so important. And I think, again, as we get more intentional in this time where we're not out in community constantly on the go, we're able to peel back some of those layers and we're kind of realizing like, oh, wow, um, I see the difference of intentionally being within a certain group versus just being out in, in mass crowds and mass groups and all of this all the time where it's just like, um, and I talked in a video I did yesterday, just the bombardment of, um, of our senses and kind of not really knowing who we should be connected with just because we're um, connecting with people without a choice, you know, constantly all the time. And then the other, so, so that was the first thought. So not only are we looking for a sense of community, but we're looking for um, that connection where as we share, we're, we're in a very intentional group and looking for that, um, for that rise and elevation of that feeling tone that we're feeling. Because why wouldn't we want that? Um, and why wouldn't we want to be able to offer that ourselves as well as receive? But it also means that we're also, um, as we're looking for connection with communities, I think too, a lot of people think, oh, I just really love learning. Like me, I'm a lifelong learner. I just, um, you know, doing these groups is not only um, something that I enjoy just, you know, for the intellectual stimulation, but I really enjoy it because it's just, I really love growth. And so perhaps though, it's not just that we're looking for learning, but these groups are also... Um, Again, because they're intentional, they're allowing us to learn from theory, but also um, as we are learning, we're also putting those actions into practice. And as one of my favorite mentors, um, Michael Beckwith, um, put out for me the other day, he uh, mentioned this different the difference between um, beginner teaching and so when we're when we're taking a course and we're engaged in beginner teaching, this is like if we're reading a book. Um, where we don't have that intentional community, what we're getting is theory out of it. But when we are engaged in advanced teaching, what we're gaining is practice. And so again, with this practice, as we, as we are given things and learning theory and able to intentionally act on it, um, it means that we're seeing these changes in our own life. And we're, so not only are we getting that elevation within the group, but we're able to see the shift because we're actually making the changes. And as we make the changes and as you hear me talk about all the time and just this, the magic that, um, that unfolds, that rolls out as we pick up momentum, as we tap back into that innate being and existence that's within ourselves and within ourselves, how we really start to see, um, it's like, just like that red carpet unfolds. So, yeah, I just thought, you know, it's so much, such a beautiful thing. And I know I'm not the only one experiencing it. I'm hearing, hearing similar tones coming up with a lot of people. And like I said, in several different groups. Um, and then there's also people from my community who, um, who <laughs> we just get to connect with online. Um, yeah, so just so much going on. And I think again, as I come back to just saying, like, we're all just, you guys, all of us are just such in incredible extraordinary creatures and humans and beings and like just everything um because yeah when we think you know we ugh, are so used to i think just like thinking and acting on the surface level when really like innately what magical like things lay underneath um and are really guiding our action right now and um and just the really magical things that are unfolding that um, we might not even have been aware of. So I just wanted to share that. Thank you so, so much um, for joining me. I hope some of that resonated with you. Um, 
I always ask, you know, let me know what have you been noticing? What have you been gaining out of community? Have you been feeling the, the pull to community? Um, have you found yourself um, looking for courses? Have you found yourself looking for, um, you know, self-development books? What have you been listening to? Please let me know. Um, and, and, and what have you been finding? Have you been finding that it's just the connection that you were looking for? Or have you been noticing that sense of elevation? special connections that you've perhaps been making with those groups. I'd love to hear. All right. Well, thank you so much again for joining me. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful week here in Canada. It's a long weekend, although it doesn't really feel like anything. Um, so my grandma's calling, so I'm going to go and have a chat with her. Bye.